morning. I am in Nagano. I'm super duper excited to be here. Although today is my last day on my trip here. We are only visiting one winery, but still this city is beautiful. It is like 7 a.m. minus 7 degrees and it is snowing like ever so slightly, but it is snowing and everything is covered in snow. Honestly, I love snow. Coming from Queensland, in Australia, like it's, uh, it's never snowed ever. So I don't know, to see snow like almost every day this week has been like a dream come true. The whole town is just like covered in snow, like on the trees and the buildings and uh, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna head down to breakfast now. I think it's a Japanese and Western style buffet here at the Jal City Hotel. It's like 10 minutes walk from Nagano Station. It's kind of like a, it's a bit messy. It's a Western style business hotel, I suppose you could say. It's all right, it's pretty nice. It's, it gets the job done. Oh, have a look at this snow. We just finished up breakfast. It was on the 16th floor of this place and they had like a 180 view of the whole restaurant it was like windowed and you just sat out and looked out at the view and I could have sat there for hours watching the snow fall over the mountains. It was definitely the highlight of this hotel. It was amazing. I've got five minutes to pack up now and get downstairs to head to the first winery. So let's go. Hotel Jal here and it's snowing. I don't know if you can see, but it's snowing and it makes me so happy. I don't want to go back to Tokyo when there's snow. <laughs> We're here at our very last winery. Look at this. St. Couser Winery in Nagano. It's like well up into the mountains. It is actually like snowing so much that it's so bright out here. It's insane. It's so soft. I love it. St. Couser is an award-winning winery based in the town of Izuna in the northern part of Nagano Prefecture. The main winery is about 10 minutes away from the grounds you see here and it was established in 1990. For about one kilo of grapes they can produce one bottle of wine and they produce about 8,000 bottles of wine per day and 200,000 bottles per year. But only 50 days out of the year do they actually spend bottling wine. St. Cousset Winery is just in its second generation now. They harvest their wines in September and October. They have one hectare of Merlot and 10 hectares of Chardonnay. In October, you can actually hear the fermentation happening in the oak bottles. How cool is that? We have, is it malt? Malt wine? Wine. Hot wine, oh my god. <laughs> it's like made right here on this bad boy. Wow. <laughs> wow. The ice crunch, the, the soft powdery snow crunching. Oh, it's like minus 11 degrees, but my God, it is beautiful. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
a while up in the mountain and the closest hotel is about 30 minutes away but on the drive up the mountain there is about two or three other wineries as well so like if, on the way up here you can stop at those ones too and then in the warmer weather like spring and summer you can't actually like come to the shop in here and buy your meats and sweets and take it in the picnic basket and go out into the grounds and have a picnic and is that not just the sweetest thing ever they even make their own like sauces for pasta here as well as garlic mayo and look banana and chocolate paste oh my goodness and jams too wow It's a handmade oh, chapel. Oh my goodness. I saw a picture and it looks amazing in the summer. Oh, the view. It's just so white. I don't even know if you can see. I love this place. They need to build cabins here so you can come stay, definitely. Going to the chapel and we're gonna get married. <laughs> The winery here and the restaurant and the staff and the chapel is all like super Christian actually. Sorry, it's so bright. They're actually super, super duper Christian. That's why there's the chapel here. You can get married here. There's like verses written everywhere, even on the bottles of wine and everything like that, which is really, really, really rare to find in Japan. Like super duper rare because they practice Shinto and Buddhism here. So it's, it's pretty amazing up here. Like, I mean, you can't fault it, to be honest. We are on the Shinkansen now. We're gonna head back from Nagano Station to Tokyo. I think it takes about two hours. Oh no, two hours to get to Tokyo Station from Nagano Station. And I have another hour journey home from there. This trip has been amazing. I am absolutely in love with this area. If you enjoyed this area, I hope you will also come and visit it too. I had no idea that there was so much here, especially so many wineries. I was absolutely none the wiser that these existed, but I'm so glad I got to experience. If you guys haven't already, please check out the rest of the vlogs from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. This is our last day. I don't want to go back to Tokyo. I want to stay in Nagano. It's so beautiful, covered in snow. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>